Kim Clijsters' amazing comeback story. With a game so solid it demolished opponents with ease, an insatiable thirst for competition that ignited every rally, and a warm and down-to-earth persona that welcomed all, it was simply impossible not to be drawn to her magnetic charm. Guess who? In the world of professional tennis, there are few stories as inspiring as that of Kim Clijsters. She is a renowned Belgian tennis player who has captivated the world with her impressive career incredible retirement journey, inspirational attitude, and subsequent career comeback. In this video, we will delve into the inspiring narrative of Kim Clijsters' comeback story, exploring the highs, lows, and the ultimate triumph she achieved through sheer grit and perseverance. But first, keep listening because we have an important announcement to make on this channel. Tennis is a sport that captivates millions of people around the world with its blend of athleticism, strategy, and sheer excitement. It challenges players physically, mentally, and emotionally, pushing them to new heights of skill and endurance. However, to truly excel in tennis, it requires more than just natural talent. It demands dedication, knowledge, and a systematic approach to training and development. And now, as a special thank you to you for watching this video, a free gift is available to you today in the form of an ebook to help you on your path to improve in the sport. The author of this ebook, who wishes to remain anonymous, has had the privilege of immersing herself in the world of tennis for many years. She has played competitively, received coaching from experienced professionals, and witnessed firsthand the transformative power of tennis in her own life and in the lives of others. Through this ebook, which is available to you for free. Her goal is to share her knowledge, insights, and strategies to help you unleash your full potential on the tennis court. Whether you're a beginner seeking to grasp the basics or an advanced player aiming to fine tune your skills, this guide will take you through a step-by-step -step journey of improvement. From understanding the fundamentals of the game to mastering advanced techniques, from developing physical fitness to honing mental resilience, this ebook covers a wide range of topics to provide you with a well-rounded approach to tennis excellence. Simply click the link in the description below the video and enter your name and email address to obtain your free ebook today. And while you're there, why not subscribe to our channel and like the video? The small town of Bilzen, Belgium, was the birthplace of a tennis prodigy. In the year 1983, on the 8th of June, Kim Kleisters was born into a family passionate about sports. Her father, Leigh Kleisters, was a professional soccer player, while her mother, Els van de Keetsbeek, was a national-level gymnast. It was no surprise that athletic prowess ran in Kim's veins and that she would showcase her love of tennis very early on in life. From a young age, Kim showed a natural affinity for sports. She dabbled in various activities, from gymnastics to swimming, but it was on the tennis court where her true potential shone. At the tender age of four, she held a racket for the first time, guided by her father's steady hand. Little did they know that this would mark the beginning of an extraordinary journey. As Kim grew older, her dedication to tennis became evident. She started competing in local tournaments, where her exceptional hand-eye coordination and powerful strokes caught the attention of seasoned coaches. In 1999, at the age of 16, Kim burst onto the international tennis scene. She made her professional debut, catching the attention of fans and pundits alike. In May, Kleisters made her WTA debut there after qualifying and then losing in the final round of play. She beat Miho Saeki in her maiden tour-level match, advancing to the quarterfinals but ultimately losing to top seed Sarah Pitkowski. Kleisters made history in 2001 when she competed in a Grand Slam singles final at the French Open. In their closest and most publicized match to that point, she had beaten Hennen in the semifinals. With her aggressive style of play and remarkable athleticism, she quickly rose to become one of the top-ranked players in the world. Despite dealing with an ongoing shoulder injury in the early half of 2002, Kleisters remained a top 10 player for the entire year. She played in 21 singles events, 15 of which she won, and reached the semifinals or better in all but one. She played in more than 100 matches and won 90 of them, making her the first player since Chris Evert in 1974 and the first to win 90 games since Martina Navratilova in 1982. She reached the finals of doubles 10 times, and five of those times it was against the duo of Virginia Ruano Pascual and Paola Suarez. In August of 2023, 
Kleisters made history by being the first Belgian to ever hold the number one spot in either the singles or doubles rankings. After a successful career filled with numerous achievements, including winning multiple Grand Slam titles and reaching the pinnacle of the sport, Kleisters unexpectedly announced her retirement from professional tennis in 2007. The decision came as a true surprise to many who had witnessed her relentless pursuit of greatness. Kim cited a desire for a break from the grueling demands of the sport and a longing for a sense of normalcy in her life. She sought new experiences outside the sport, including starting a family and exploring other interests. When Kim Kleisters retired, she tied the knot with basketball player Brian Lynch just a few short months later. At the beginning of the year 2008, she became a mother of a beautiful daughter, Jada. In the summer of 2009, Kim Kleisters made her comeback at the Western and Southern Open in Cincinnati. Her return to the court was met with a mixture of anticipation and curiosity. Would she be able to regain her form and compete with the new generation of tennis stars? Doubts about her fitness, rusty skills, and ability to compete with younger players loomed over her. Before returning to the professional tennis circuit, Kleisters dedicated herself to rigorous training and preparation. She worked tirelessly to regain her physical form and sharpen her skills, determined to make her comeback a resounding success. Kleisters required wild cards to return from no ranking. She requested and then received wild cards for the Cincinnati Open, Canadian Open, and U.S. Open. In her return to the tournament in Cincinnati, she defeated three top 20 opponents and defeated Victoria Azarenka again in Canada. Kim entered the U.S. Open unranked since players needed three circuit events to be ranked. She won her second U.S. Open by defeating Caroline Wozniacki. She was the first unseeded woman to win the event and the first mother to win a Grand Slam singles championship since 1980. She ranked 19th on the WTA after winning. She earned WTA Comeback Player of the Year again at season's end. Kim Kleisters decided to compete in only 11 tournaments all year in 2010 to devote more time to her family. She started the year by winning the Brisbane International, where she just edged out Hennen in a third set tiebreaker. It was Hennen's first tournament since coming out of retirement. Winning the Cincinnati Open during the U.S. Open Series was her first tournament back after retiring the previous year. Kleisters was third overall at the end of the season and won the WTA Player of the Year award for the second time in her career. At the beginning of 2011, she decided she would not continue playing in the tournament while her daughter was in school. Therefore, she would retire in 2012. She started the year off by competing in the Sydney International, where she just lost in the finals to Lee Na despite taking the opening five games of their match. As a precaution, before the Australian Open, she withdrew from the semifinals after winning her first three matches back due to hip cramps. She had to forego the clay court season due to persistent hip and ankle pain that lasted for months after the tournament. Kim had not been defeated at the U.S. Open since the championship match 2003. Before losing to Laura Robson in the second round of the WTA singles tournament, she won remarkably against Victoria Duval in the first round. After losing badly in the second round of the mixed doubles competition with Bob Bryan against eventual champions Ekaterina Makarova and Bruno Soares, she announced her retirement again in late 2012. In the seven years of retirement, she gave birth to two sons. Jack was born in 2013 and Blake in 2016. She lived a peaceful life caring for her kids and working on her injuries. In 2019, she announced her second comeback for the upcoming year. 2020 yet again. In a video message, she said, What do I really want from life for the past seven years? I've been a full-time mom, and I love it. But I also love being a professional tennis player. I miss that feeling. So, what if I tried to do both? I should better come back. Could I be a loving mom to my three kids and the best tennis player I can possibly be? Let's do this. Let's come back one more time. See you in 2020. The message induced high excitement among her fans, who have been eagerly waiting for her comeback since 2012. In February 2020, Kleisters competed in the Dubai Tennis Championships as a wildcard entrant. She then used a wildcard to play in the Monterey Open, where she was defeated in straight sets by Johanna Conta. From March to July, the COVID-19 epidemic prevented any competitions from taking place. 
After having knee surgery in October, Kleisters withdrew from the rest of the 2020 season. After being away from the series for two years due to the COVID-19 pandemic, Kleisters has only played five matches since her return. Kleisters announced her second retirement from tennis on April 12, 2022, expressing a desire to devote more time to her family. Kim Kleister's amazing comeback story inspires athletes of all ages and backgrounds. Her journey serves as a reminder that extraordinary achievements are within reach with dedication, perseverance, and belief in oneself. She remains a beloved and adorable figure in the world of tennis, with her story standing as proof of her power of resilience. Through her remarkable journey, she has inspired athletes and individuals alike to chase their dreams, overcome challenges, and never give up. Kleister's legacy extends far beyond her achievements on the tennis court, leaving an indelible mark on the world of sports and serving as a beacon of hope for all. That's all for now. But why not check out this other awesome video while you're here? Also, do hit that red subscribe button before leaving. And as always, please like and share this video with your circle of friends. Have a great day.